Good afternoon, my name is Austin. I'm a salesman here at Mercedes-Benz of Manchester and I'm very excited to be standing here today to show you this very unique and beautiful 2020 GLC 43 AMG. As you can see, this vehicle is a beautiful, brilliant blue metallic color. Underneath the hood, we have a bi-turbo V6 engine that makes 385 horsepower and 384 pound-feet of torque. Moving around to the side, we'll take a look at the striking 21-inch 10-spoke split AMG wheels. Behind those wheels, you'll see we have the AMG composite braking system with gray AMG caliper. Moving back to the side view mirror, both side view mirrors are auto folding, auto dimming, and if you look in the bottom corner there, there's a little triangle. That's gonna light up red when a vehicle's in your blind spot. This vehicle also has the keyless go package, which allows you to lock and unlock the door by placing your hand on the outside and inside of the door handle. That's gonna work on all four door handles as well as the trunk. Now moving around to the rear end, we'll take a look at the styling of the rear end of the GLC 43. You'll see looking down below, you have the AMG quad exhaust tips. Underneath this lip here, we have a little backup camera that folds down when you put the vehicle in reverse and folds back up when you put the vehicle in drive, keeping that camera clean, especially in the winter months. We'll open up the trunk here to show you the cargo room that we have in the back. You do have extra cargo space if you lift this little door here. You can fold down the rear seat by flipping this switch or this switch here. And you also have a little switch there. What that's gonna do is lower the aromatic suspension in the rear end of the vehicle, making it easier to pick things up and put them into the back of the vehicle. You can close the trunk simply by pressing this button right here. You can also select the height that you want the trunk to open up to. Now moving around to the passenger side, I'll open up the rear door to show you the beautiful saddle brown on black leather interior. Now moving inside the GLC 43, we'll take a quick look around, first starting with the beautiful 64 color ambient lighting inside this vehicle. You'll see it show up in the creases of the trim in the center here, in the footwells, underneath the trim on the doors, both in the front and the back. The next thing I'll mention is the panoramic sunroof in this vehicle, which I'll open up now for you. Now moving to the center console, I'll open that up to show you the space that you have inside. You also have two USB-C ports in there. Close that up and move forward. As you can see, we have our brand new touchpad for the 2020 GLC. You can use that to control the infotainment system. And you'll see a bunch of buttons here on the right side. This button here, you can press to turn on the AMG performance exhaust system. That's going to make the exhaust more loud and a little bit more throaty. Underneath that, you have your auto start stop button. You can turn that off by pressing that button. You have your park assist button here to turn on the Parktronic system. On the left side of the steering wheel, we have this button here, which will turn on your manual transmission mode. That makes it so that you can only change the gear by using the paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. Below that, we have our suspension settings. So you can set your suspension to Sport, Sport Plus, and Comfort mode, regardless of what drive mode you're in. And just below that button, we have our ESP or electronic stability control off button. Now looking at this switch, we have our dynamic select switch. This is going to change from any of the five drive modes that this vehicle has. Moving forward, we'll open up this compartment to show you the space you have inside. As you can see, there are two cup holders. In front of those cup holders, you have a little pad that's going to be a wireless charger for your mobile phone. You can place it right on that pad and it will wirelessly charge your phone. Just next to that on the right, you'll see you have another USB port there. 
when connected to your phone that gives you access to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is standard for this vehicle. Moving up, we have our quick menu buttons. Quickly press any of these buttons to go to those following menus. Above that, we have our climate control settings. There are two zones in this vehicle, one for the driver and one for the front passenger. Now moving up to the infotainment screen itself, you can see we have a very responsive touch screen that you can use. We have navigation here. You can pinch to zoom if you wish. Another menu or setting screen that I would like to point out, saying, seeing as this is an AMG model, you have the track pace menu screen that you can access. What that's going to do is allow you to time lapse if you bring your GLC 43 to the track. It's going to give you all sorts of different information. It's also going to give you different information on all of the tracks in your area. It even is able to tell you when you have arrived at certain tracks when you approach them. Now moving back to the steering wheel, I'll mention on the right side, you actually have another touchpad that's going to also allow you to control the infotainment screen. So you can do so without ever actually taking your hand off the steering wheel. Below that, you have a switch that's going to allow you to answer and hang up phone calls, and another switch that allows you to manually access the voice command system. This vehicle has a brand new voice command system with the MBUX infotainment system. This allows you to talk to the voice command system as you would Alexa in your home. The voice command system is able to change almost all of these settings inside the vehicle and can even understand very general demands and change certain settings inside the vehicle accordingly. For example, hey Mercedes, I'm cold. I'm setting the temperature on the driver's side to 82 degrees. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Turn the ambient lighting green. Okay, I'm changing the color. Now moving over to the left side of the steering wheel, I'll show you we have another touchpad on this side. That's going to allow you to change the information displayed inside the gauge cluster screen. As you can see, this vehicle has the upgraded 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster screen. Just below that touchpad, you have your cruise control settings with these switches here. Now looking to my left, you'll see on the door panel here, we have a few switches. Those are going to allow you to change the seat position. You have three buttons here for three different memory modes or three different preset seat positions. Just above those switches, you have your heated seat button. As you can see, you have three different settings of intensity. And just inside the door pocket here, we have a little switch that's going to allow you to open and close the hatch. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Austin. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact me directly at 603 669-6788. My extension is 220-211. You can also email me at a-l-u-n-t at driveprime.com.